iSpot is a website open to all where you can upload photographs of organisms you've seen, animals, plants, and get help identifying what it is. And the reason we created it is as part of a project called Open Air Laboratories, OPAL, which is funded by the Big Lottery Fund for England. And the general idea is to help create a new generation of naturalists. So uh, in Britain, we have a wonderful tradition of people being interested in natural history and recording it, both as amateurs and professionals. What you can see in these photographs is pictures of things that people have seen and photographed and uploaded in the last few hours. So I'm just going to click on the very latest one here. Let's see what that is. Somebody called Foxy has seen this. It's an Ichneumon fly, they think. So they, 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 they reckon they know what it is. Down here, they've given the name. This is the, the scientific name. Uh, because this is actually uh, probably a fly that doesn't have a common name. And the reason names are so important, of course, is that actually, in order to tell somebody about something, it helps to have a name. If I tell you that I've seen uh, a red and black butterfly, uh, it's not as interesting as if I tell you, tell you I've seen a red admiral. And then you can say, oh, well, I've seen one of those. And you can look it up in a book, you can Google it, you can do all sorts of things and actually learn about it. So putting names to things is fundamental in natural history, and iSpot is the place to go to get help with putting names to things. We have this thing called confidence. How, how, how certain are you that it is what you think it is? And again, because you know this is a site for everybody, and not everybody is an expert. In fact, nobody is an expert in all species, that's for sure. When you enter the, the name, you can select one of a choice of confidence levels, and here this person has said, it's likely to be this, but I can't be certain. Uh, the top level of certainty is, I'm as sure as I can be. Another thing to see is that this, this, this user, Bill Riley, has got an Open University symbol there. And if you hover over it, you can see it says S159 Neighbourhood and Nature. And what that refers to is the fact that this particular user is an Open University student studying our course called Neighbourhood and Nature uh, and using the website as part of that course. So this website is used by students, it's used by members of the general public, and in fact, it's also used by school children, just anybody um, who wishes to use it. Let me show you something that uh, a six-year-old found and posted on iSpot not long ago. Uh, this made the national press because it was a, a species new to Britain. Here's the news item on iSpot, a moth species new to Britain discovered. This is the observation itself. This was a photograph, I think it was taken by the little girl's dad. What happened was apparently um, she said to her mum, Mum, why is this moth so furry? The photograph was posted on iSpot. An expert in iSpot who works for us noticed that this was something unusual, suggested it might be this thing called the Euonymus leaf notcher. Within 48 hours, we had essentially established that indeed it was uh, a species not seen in Britain before. And so you see here, I've just scrolled through all the comments that people have made. So this is a very exciting find. And then somebody saying, have you still got it? Make sure you keep it because we want to send it to the Natural History Museum where it'll become part of their collections. And the girl's mum said, yep, we will certainly send it to the Natural History Museum, but first it's going to school on Monday morning for a show and tell. So that's what happened. You can also accumulate a kind of gallery of your own personal observations. So here you have a whole load of different things that I've spotted in the last week or two. And by no means do I know what all these things are. Let me give you an example. I was growing some tomatoes in my greenhouse and I saw this thing uh, and I didn't know what it was. So I put the picture up, somebody helped me identify it and then put the name in. It's this thing called the tomato moth, not so surprisingly perhaps. A couple of people said, yep, that's what it is. And you can see here, there are symbols by their names. So if you've got lots of butterflies, that means you know your butterflies and, and other insects. Uh, this symbol here means that that person is working for iSpot and is an expert on, on insects. So you can be fairly sure that if they say they agree with you, they know what they're talking about. And then we've got a couple of nice features here. You see, uh, there's a link to that species on the Encyclopedia of Life. So you can actually see what the moth looks like. I found the caterpillar, that's what the moth looks like. So now we're going to go back to the home page. I'll just click on I spot there. And right, there are a couple of ex uh, new, new observations just come in. Those look like mallards to me. Indeed, somebody has identified them. Uh, and somebody else has come along and agreed with them.
you can also see a map of the distribution of species through uh, the National Biodiversity Network. And not surprisingly, mallards are found all over <laughs> Britain and Ireland. We do know that um, biodiversity is under threat all over the world, in Britain as well. There are many species that are on the brink of extinction. We have a few in Britain ourselves. Why are we concerned? Well, one reason is because we actually enjoy nature. An eye spot is one place where you can go and enjoy it and learn about it. And of course, learning about it adds to the enjoyment. We have currently over 4,000 observations that have been made here. We'd love you to join and to make some observations yourself. We want everybody to tell their friends. In fact, the message is already going around. Um, and uh, we're waiting for your observations. We'd love to see them.